just gonna, I'm gonna put the books up here and hope that they don't fall while I'm talking and that you can actually see them. Because it's gonna be awkward if you can't see them. I hope my head's not cutting them off. Who knows? No, I can't say that. Is that a spoiler? I don't know. I feel like it's in the first, like, 30 pages, so is it really a spoiler? Who knows these days? Because people get mad about spoilers that aren't even spoilers, but it's fine. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a review of Slammed by Colleen Hoover, and also Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover. I'm just gonna throw them in together as one to make it easier for myself. I absolutely loved Slammed. I loved it so much. It was super good. Didn't really like Point of Retreat that much. It was okay. Not my favorite book, but you know, it was okay. So first I'm going to give my thoughts on Slammed and then I'll move on to Point of Retreat. I'm going to give a synopsis for Slammed. I'm not going to give a synopsis for Point of Retreat because I don't want to give any spoilers to Slammed. And then I'll talk about the characters and then, you know, whatever else comes out of my mouth because we never know with me. We never know. So without further ado, let us get started. Megan Cohen is an 18 year old who is schooled by life. She just lost her father unexpectedly and now her mother is moving her and her 9 year old brother Kel to Michigan away from everything she's ever known. On the first day that Lake moves in, she meets Will, her next door neighbor, who just so happens to be extremely attractive and very charming. It was basically love at first sight, especially for Will's little brother Coddler and Kel, who instantly become best friends. When Will asks Lake on a date, she is more than ecstatic, especially when it goes so well. Unfortunately for the two of them, they have to end their romance before it even begins because of something that comes up. I know I say I hate insta love because I do, but something about Will and Lake, it just hit me right in the feels. It hit me right where it hurts. One of my biggest pet peeves, I hate insta love. This is the reason why I'm only giving it for my five stars. I just I hated so but they were so cute together and drove me insane. They were adorable together, even though I think that Will was kind of annoying at times for the emotional roller coaster he put Lake through. It wasn't fair, and I found Lake to be really immature at times. She constantly was slamming doors, like, Girl, you're 18, stop slamming those doors. It was just annoying, which is one of the reasons why I'm only giving it 4.5 stars, because they drove me insane. But they were cute together at the same time. It was, it was a confusing mess in my heart. <laughs> it was so confusing. I did really enjoy the plot twist though. It kept me engaged in the story when it started to get boring and it started to become like same old same old stories that gets told over and over again. It made it really engaging and I did really enjoy those parts. I will admit it did take me a while to get into the story and I thought it was going to be your you know typical forbidden love story that happens over and over again but it did turn out to be so much more than that. The poetry was definitely my favorite part of the book. I really liked how it lets you see into the characters raw emotions and thoughts and feelings which you don't really get in a lot of books these days. But with the poetry it was like really in depth with the character's perception of things which I really enjoyed. I also really liked how Colleen Hoover included poems from all the characters, not just the two main characters. It really helped develop the other characters a lot more than what you would typically get in books. I cried like three times in the poems, which is like so weird to me because I don't cry at books. It's like a malfunction in my brain. I just, I can be sad at them, but I do not cry. And the fact that this book made me cry three different times, it definitely is one of the reasons I'm giving it such a high review because like, I don't cry. So it was, it was weird to me. I was like, oh my god, what, what's, what's happening? Why, why are there tears falling from my eyes? It was so good. It was so good. I absolutely loved the secondary characters. They were my favorite part of the book. Eddie was amazing. She knew exactly who she was and she was so full of life. She made the book so much better for me. I loved her completely. Kel and Coddler were hilarious. I loved them together. Their friendship was amazing and they had me laughing out loud a couple of times, which also doesn't really happen that often when I read books, so that was awesome to me. I absolutely loved them. They were so sarcastic and they're only nine years old, so like just imagine when they're older. They're gonna be hilarious. I love them. Julia, Lake, and Kel's mom was amazing. I loved her character. She gave so much advice. Like, Slammed wasn't just like your, your typical love story. It was also a bunch of little life advice tidbits that made the book so much better. It was it was so good. I loved it so much. So yeah, that was my thoughts on Slammed. I absolutely loved the book. I gave it a 4.5 stars on Goodreads. I'm not giving it a 5 because insta-love, I can't deal with it. Even though it worked, I just... You can't give insta-love a 5. You just... I can't do it. I can't do it. 
I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Next point of retreat, I it felt short for me. I didn't really like it that much. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, mostly because of the poems again, because I just, I love the poems. They're the best part of the books. But other than that, it just, it didn't, I didn't connect with it at all. Like, at all. It was from Will's point of view. I found Will's point of view extremely annoying. He acted more like a 12-year-old than a 23-year-old man. He was more immature than Lake, which is extremely hard to do in my opinion because Lake is so immature, but I just, I could not with Will in this book. He, it, it honestly felt like he became more immature in the span of a year. When I'm pretty sure you're supposed to become more mature as you grow older, but he just, he drove me insane. I just, I couldn't deal with him in this book. I did really enjoy the secondary characters. Again, they were my favorite parts of the books. The two main characters, I kind of was just like, stop talking. But Kirsten, Shelley, and Grandpa were hilarious. I love them. Kirsten is like a mini sassy queen master of life, and I loved her. Shelley was so good. She kind of replaced Julia and made it a lot more enjoyable because she was the one giving the life lessons, which I really liked in Slammed, so I really liked in Point of Retreat. The only reason I'm giving the book three stars instead of two stars is because of the poetry. I loved every single one of them. Again, they're my favorite parts of the book. I I didn't think I liked poetry before I read these two books because I never really got into anything that I read that was poetry, but I don't know, slam poetry is really good. I really like it. So I'm probably gonna, you know, venture into that genre. Is that a genre? I don't know, but I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna check it out some more. I feel like Colleen Hoover is kind of like a hit and miss author. A lot of people like all of her books, but then a lot of other people don't like all of her books. I read two and I liked one and I didn't really like the other, so I don't know. I'm hoping to read more Colleen Hoover. Right now, I'm in the middle of Hopeless. I'm enjoying it so far. So yeah, that was my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read it down below. Let me know your thoughts because I would love to discuss them with you. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! This video is probably gonna be super rambly because I never get my point across. I just ramble. I just keep talking and then it, it, my thoughts don't make sense. I'm sorry. Try to interpret what I'm saying. I love Slam. I didn't really like Point of Retreat. The end. <laughs> Alright, bye.